Hey everybody, thanks for all the feedback from yesterday. I appreciate the questions and the insights. Um, one of you asked the question to me about, um, do I agree with Sam Harris's view at the end of this moral illusion story? And uh, I'll, I'll keep it to the context of the things that I talked about. Um, the one thing that I disagree with, and it's not that I disagree with, but I just think that Sam is missing the, the point here, he even says he doesn't get it, are the people who choose to leave Omalas. Um, he's suggesting that there is no leaving Omalas, there, that you, you really can't. And what does that really mean? Does it mean suicide? Um, I, I, I thoroughly disagree with his analysis of that. It's the same thing in the, the movie Us when the, uh, when the lady, um, young lady decides to leave the underworld and ascend the stairs. There's a lot to be said about that as well. If you look carefully at the movie, those stairs are only moving in one direction. So she's literally going against the green. She's going up into an unexplored, unknown world. Um, and uh, that is no different than the Plato's, Plato's allegory of the cave, where you have an individual who is uh, ascending up into a, a world that is very, very different. So basically, it's the idea of leaving your comfort zone. Um, we see this in the movie The Matrix. We see this in uh, The Truman Show. Right? This, this theme is throughout movies and stories within history. And so what does that mean to you? What does it mean to step outside of your comfort zone? There's a more profound um, meaning in the Omala story in the sense that, and Sam Harris even says it's based on a William James story, which, um, which I'm very familiar with William James and I, I honestly never heard uh, this thought experiment before. But basically this idea is that if you could have just one person suffer, okay, for the masses, so if, if, just, if you have one person suffering and the rest of society can live in a utopia, would everybody be okay with that? And, and here you see some people are leaving Omelas because clearly they're not okay with that. They're saying there must be a better way. I will draw one more parallel. If you've ever seen the, um, the story, um, excuse me, the miniseries, The Americans, this is very interesting. I just thought about this. You'll remember in the later episodes when he's attending the, um, the meetings, there's a constant theme of stepping into the darkness, stepping into the darkness, that, that one step at a time you sort of feel out your way. There's real strong parallels here with communism and capitalism and what that meant in the story of the American, in, in the story of the Americans, is, is that the characters start to question, these Russian spies start to question sort of what they're doing and, and what's necessary in order for them to accomplish this ideal. And the, the amount of time that they're in America, they're exposed to things that make them think more critically about, am, am I doing the right thing? Is this really the right way? What am I really fighting for? What is it costing? Um, th this is exactly the type of mindset that people in Omelas must have. Here we are living in a utopia, but yet the cost is tremendous. There's this one human being who, by the way, the human being wasn't born into this bondage. This human being, it says in the story, once knew the light and once had a, a loving mother, but then was put into this shed to suffer. And this is part of the rules, right? Part of the rules of Amalas is that this person has to be there in order for the utopia to exist. Similarly, you can make the same parallels with communism and, and capitalism, at least communism as it was practiced, not as Karl Marx wrote about, but it, communism as it was practiced, was there were a lot of sacrifices that had to be made in order to have quote unquote happiness. And both sides were sort of saying, maybe there's a, a better way. Well, just think about this in your own world, right? We, we are each our own world. And in our own world, you can look at anything right? That's, that's being misappropriated um, for your happiness. And ask yourself, is this out of measure? Is there a better way? And that was really my point from yesterday. All right, everybody, have an awesome day. Thanks for the questions.